Hello all, welcome to Wondershare eDrawMind. This video is about eDrawMind keyboard shortcuts. Let's start with add topic related shortcuts. In this video, we'll be learning about eDrawMind keyboard shortcuts. For Windows and for Mac. First, let's see shortcuts for Windows. To add a topic, we use Insert or Control Enter or Tab. To add a sibling topic after this, press Enter. To add a sibling topic before, press Shift Enter. To add a parent topic, press Shift Insert. To add a callout, press Alt Enter. And to add a floating topic, press Alt F. Now let's see how to add related elements. To add an attachment, press Ctrl H. Then you just need to provide the file location. To add a note, press Ctrl T. To add a summary, it's Ctrl closing bracket. You'll need to select the tasks which need to be summarized. To add a relationship, press Ctrl R. Select the task and press Ctrl R and select the other task with which it needs to be paired. To add a picture, it's Ctrl Shift P. Browse to the file location and select the image. To display mark panel, it's F9. The mark can even be changed as shown. Now let's see shortcuts for common operations. To undo, it's Ctrl Z or Alt Backspace. Let's add a subtopic and undo it with the help of shortcuts. To redo, press Ctrl Y or Alt Shift Backspace or Ctrl Shift Z. Let's add the subtopic back with the help of the redo command. To select all, use Ctrl A. Here are all the common shortcuts used for Windows as well as for Mac. Now let's see where we can find a list of all these commands. To navigate to shortcuts, click on File, and select Options, and then select Shortcuts. Here we can find all the shortcuts that are used in eDrawMind. You can even add your own custom shortcuts. To assign a shortcut key, select an item and press a desired letter. To remove, select a shortcut key and press backspace. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.